Stories we tell ourselves on financial empowerment. Untruth number one. Your success, financial success, is best indicated by how much money you make. What is your W-2? What's your earnings power? It is something society likes to tell us because we love to talk amongst ourselves on how much people are making, what do you think they make, what does she make, and we use that as the number one gauge for uh, analyzing success, and that's not, that's untrue. The truth is, it's what you do with it and how you use that money to prepare yourself in the future to enjoy life, to put money aside, and to empower yourself to make the decisions and live the life you wanna live. It's a big part of it because making money leads to being able to save money, to be able to spend money the way you want to, but it's not the final financial indicator. In all my years in public accounting, you know, we'd look at somebody's W-2 and I saw many of them, tax returns, and the W-2 was, yeah, a great indicator. Wow, you know, look, they've got a lot of adjusted gross income. But at the end of the day, what's more important is what you do with it. So if you look back at the tax return, is there interest income? Is there a lot of expenses? Is there a lot of mortgage expense? So what might look good on paper for what you earn, depending on how you spend it, it doesn't have a direct result to empowerment. It's what you do with it. And I'd say the last thing is, remember that very first job you had when you were a kid and you had the money and you looked at that money as how you're gonna use it and how you're gonna move forward with it. And you loved the feeling of having the dollar amount in your bank and being able to buy things and save for things. Think like a kid. Always look at your earnings as something that's temporary in the moment to be used for a long time, future happiness and success. And yeah, and let that be your financial empowerment. And, you know, get out and enjoy the river a little bit.